Well, last time we saw this guy, he was 2-0. and He was fighting in Washington against a guy named Terry Cohens. I was lucky enough to hop into the cage and interview him at the end of that big win, and everybody at the time was saying, this is a guy to keep their eyes on. And boy, did that come true. I'm, of course, talking about Phil, Mr. Wonderful Davis. And Phil, since that 2-0 and against Terry Cohens in Washington, you've gone another 6-0 and for a total of 8-0, and and the sky's the limit. Your nickname's wonderful, and that's that's what you got to call this trajectory that you've been on. What a wonderful trajectory, and I think you got some some exciting fights coming up now. Now you this is what you've been waiting for. Oh yeah, um, it's just been a, a crazy uh, year and a half. It's just you know it's what I was hoping would happen, and it's, man, this is my life. Wow, I really <laughs> hoped and dreamed this was happening, and it did. It's crazy. <laughs> Crazy. And you're feeling it unfold. You got yeah. all this media down here. You got all these cameras. You got bright lights. It's crazy here. And it's really unfolding for you. When you were fighting back with us in Ultimate Warrior, uh, I know you wanted it, but did you ever envision it would be this big? Um, you know, I thought it would be this big, but I had no idea it would be this soon. And I think if that had occurred over the process of some years, it just it would feel so so right. And it just happened so fast. I'm like, man, okay, you know. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. It was like I didn't get eased into, uh, you know, uh, this much uh, attention and so on and so forth. And, you know, now it's here. So. Well, great things have been happening for you. And probably the greatest is that, uh, you, you know, I know that you and John Bones have been sort of sending out some Twitters Rashad's way. Uh, no one really knew how the whole 205 thing was going to unfold. And then John Bones Jones got hurt. Right. And um, you never want to see someone get hurt, but that did set you up for a date with Destiny with Rashad. What can we look forward to in that matchup? Um, that matchup is going to be great. Uh, both good wrestlers. Um, he probably has more knockout power than me, but uh, good thing is he won't be able to use it. So, uh, you know, I think he's going to get tired and uh, get tired of missing, and uh, I'll be able to capitalize and on his mistakes and uh, get a win. As big as you are, you do seem to be a little bit more lean, a little more youthful than Rashad. Um, how are 205 cuts for you compared to, say, Rashad? Uh, I think he is, uh, he's actually just a smaller guy. Um, I think he walks around probably around 210, 215, somewhere in there. Um, I think the cut's probably a little bit easier for him. Um, I'm a little bit leaner at a much higher weight. I'm, I'm about, probably about 225 right now. And uh, I'm still pretty lean, so uh, I just uh, I diet down pretty well, and then um, last 10 pounds, 12 pounds, I just uh, just all water, and I just get it out. Yeah. Now you never you always feel bad as a reporter asking a fighter to look past his opponent, but that's kind of what we have to do right. because we want to see the trajectory. You want to see um, should you get past him? Obviously, uh, would you feel at that point entitled uh, to a shot with John Jones? Um, you know, my thing is, I, I not only can I not look past, even if I do look past, uh, it it does me it does me no good because who knows who will be hurt? You know, supposedly the guy who wins uh, this fight between Rampage and uh, Hamill tonight will get the next title shot, and you know, if one of them is uh, the victor and they become injured during the course of this fight, well, uh, you know, that changes everything. It changes everything. So, I, I, you know, honestly, this fight is going to be the biggest fight of my career, and um, I just, I, I just haven't thought beyond August six. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things. Like, you know how like the world was supposed to end last week or something. <laughs> well, to me, the world is going to end on August six, yeah. and I just I have no idea what happens after that. Yeah. But I know what happens August six. <laughs> what happens? I get my W over a big name, former champion in the UFC, and it'll be a very, uh, very, uh, very cool moment. Are you doing anything differently to get ready for him than you would normally do? Uh, I'm dotting my T's and <laughs> dotting my T's. Listen to me, dotting my eyes, crossing my T's. This, I mean, to beat a guy of his caliber, you, you got to do everything right. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing everything, I'm doing everything I can. I'm doing. Getting eight hours of rest every night, um, drinking lots of water, mentally preparing, writing my goals, um, getting there early, staying late, everything I possibly can to uh, to perform better. 
All right, before we let you go, Phil, uh, we know you worked closely with Jake Shields, getting him ready uh, for the big GSP fight. Uh, in that fight, it seemed like Shields could never really pull the trigger. Um, what type of feedback did you give him at the end of the fight, and what type of feedback did he give you? Um, uh, we spoke about it just briefly uh, in Toronto. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's one of those things he was uh, obviously a little di disappointed in himself. And, uh, I mean, you'll have that. Um, I know he he could have performed better. I, I mean, I trained with him. I've seen what he can do. I know what he's capable of. And uh, he didn't. He didn't. He wasn't able to put it all together uh, on on fight night, and uh, and give GSP the the fight of his life. And uh, you know that's the kind of fight y you have to give GSP in order to take the belt from him. And he's completely capable of doing it. Um, but I mean, also you know GSP, he's a champion because he did make that a difficult task for him to do. And um, I think. Uh, I think Jake has a, a couple of things he needs to to figure out, and uh, you know I, I I still think he's a great guy at that weight class for the belt. Well, we wish him the best, and we definitely wish you the best. Big, 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 big fight coming up in August for you. Uh, I know you'll come ready. You always do. The best of luck to you, Phil. And uh, I get to say I knew you when you're one of those guys. I get to say I knew when. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you very much.